Space-time surface reconstruction using incompressible flow. Space-time scanner data is captured from only a few viewpoints and has noise and gaping holes due to self-occlusions. For instance, in the shadow of the arm, the green data points disappear for long stretches. We reconstruct a 4D space-time solid model using incompressible flow. The material flow propagates data from earlier and later frames and fills in occlusions, producing a solid output in which mass is conserved. We represent the material of the solid on a space-time voxel grid, shown here as smoky areas. We use an iterative process to optimize the flow in 4D. In our model, the material in one time frame has to move to somewhere nearby in the next time frame, but material density should remain constant. After approximately seven iterations of flow optimization, the material converges to the object and we see lots of blue interior voxels. A final high resolution 4D surface reconstruction using the flow results and the original data retains the correct shape and has good detail. Here we illustrate the flow optimization using a 2D blob-like shape which deforms over time and splits in two. Again, our simulated sampling has gaping holes that persist over time. We'll look at the iterative computation of the flow in four time slices. Initially, only a few pixels in some slices can be labeled as interior, while the green ones, containing data points, are labeled as boundaries. At each iteration, we solve a big linear system to find material values for the voxels and flow values between them. Notice that as we develop a coherent flow, even slices with hardly any data take on the correct shape. As a comparison, we also show a reconstruction without the flow. Here we show another 2D example. Note that our method is able to reconstruct completely missing frames. In this 4D space-time example, we simulate only two scan cameras, so there's a lot of occlusion. Without our flow solution, 4D surface reconstruction looks terrible. The volume of the object changes a lot from frame to frame. The flow solution converges nicely to a solid of consistent topology. Using the flow as well as the original data, we can reconstruct an implicit surface that is essentially correct, even where there was no surface data at all. Here is some real structured light data of a moving hand puppet, captured with only two cameras. The final reconstruction using the flow in the original data appears on the right. It has a more consistent shape than the reconstruction on the left, which does not use the flow. In this simulation, the pair of pants spins in front of three cameras. There are large occlusions in every frame, but because of the rotation, almost every part of the surface is captured in some frame. Our system correctly propagates this data and comes up with a consistent and smooth reconstruction using no fiducial points or input data correspondences. Here, we show the reconstruction of an elephant with large holes and noise. This diagram demonstrates the incompressibility principle of our system. The mass initialization is shown on the left. The right-hand side shows the last iteration, where the actual mass is propagated evenly across all frames. We now show additional results of our flow system applied to real dynamic scans. Thank you for your attention.